Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video today for the Royalty Mod 3.0 update. This is the biggest patch I've ever done for the mod, so I thought a video explaining all of the patches and fixes would be appropriate. Let's not waste any time and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so first up we have accepting the crown at the podium fixes the animation error for those who don't own city living. I also fixed an issue during the accepting of the crown where the interaction would never finish and no pop-ups came up. So you can now successfully accept the crown and have your heir become monarch. I've also enabled the peasant lot trait on multi-unit rentals. There should be no issues with servants not showing up on assigned beds anymore. Speaking of servants, I've made major changes to them because I know they've been broken for so long. First, we'll start with... I've gotten rid of the whole different cooks, gardeners, nannies thing. All servants are now just servants and they will perform all of the interactions that each individual role did before. I know this may not be to some people's liking, but this just works a lot better in the long run. A major issue servants had was that they would just stand around and not do anything. I've made major, major changes to the autonomy and I've now also made sort of fake interactions that they'll perform where it looks like they're cleaning but they're not actually. So it doesn't matter if your sims have sparkling clean houses, the servants are still going to look like they're cleaning and doing things and they will do that between the hours of 6am and 9pm so anything outside of those hours the sims are basically free to act like normal sims. So hopefully, you know we say hopefully because it's the sims at the end of the day, they would go and take care of their energy needs and stuff like that. Um, however, uh, they, they may still stand around during those hours. That's kind of up to the Sims themselves. That By that point, I don't take care of them at that point. <laughs> but you can click on them, ask them to cook, just like you could with the old cooks and everything. So I think these servants are a lot better, to be honest. And you can still call for a new servant or uh, an existing servant or from a neighboring kingdom. All of the charity rabbit holes will now add to the Empire Treasury. The military menu, the check amount in treasury, and laws menu have all been moved under the royalty mod pie menu just for the sake of tidiness and finding everything easily. Which is performing witchcraft whilst outlawed will now properly trigger the law. I have removed all trait requirements to start the coronation as it was causing too much confusion. I've also removed the famous guests from the coronation in order to remove the need for get famous to run that event. And this is part of my trying to make the game more base game friendly, so you don't need to get famous as much. I've also switched the beloved monarch and despised tyrant trait to the empire happiness system instead of the reputation system from get famous. So again, that's now base game compatible. Above 75 happiness, you will get the beloved trait and below 50 happiness, um, it is removed. Then below minus 75, you'll get the despised royal trait, and that will be removed at minus 50. And you will get notifications for whatever stage of empire happiness you're currently at. All royalty mod interactions like titles and everything have been moved to the royalty mod pie menu, and that's for tidiness again. Sims who pay taxes to the tax collector will no longer have their moods changed to confident, and the tax collector will now recognize when he's visited them before. The tax collector should no longer cause a last exception when trying to leave, and the tax collector will leave the lot immediately after paying taxes. I've added monarchs to the people who can boil sims and send them to the shackles. Before, this was just the dungeon guards who could do this. The file buff sim is cooking is no longer overridden, which means less conflicts with other mods. Ordering a servant to bake and cook stuff should now work as intended. Diplomacy should be fixed now and has been added back. If you remember a few patches ago, I did have to take it out because it was being so buggy and broken. Sending sims to the throne room, the private quarters and stateroom for daily duties now works as intended. I have fixed the no nobles or royals lot trait. It will now no longer make everyone on the lot leave. Servants can now make little boy bubs ye old cookbook recipes. Um, this works on both her ovens and the EA ovens. I have made this optional, so if you don't want this, you can take this out of the optional folder. Obviously, if you keep my file in the game, but you don't have her recipe books, they just won't do anything when you tell them to cook her recipes. You can now sell a wider array of things to the trader. Servants will still cook meals when ordered to, even when the required ingredients lot trait is active. Okay, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name, sorry, but Cuidad Enamorada. Cuidad. <laughs> Let me actually look up how to pronounce it. Ciudad Enamorada. 
Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> anyway, the lobstruck world. Suidad, Enamorada, rules, nobles, laws, and relations have all been added to be compatible with the new pack. All custom relationship bits have been updated to work with lobstruck. I've changed the servants animation for ordering food from them to be base game compatible. So you now know if they've got the order to cook food or not. I did have to remove the cook wedding cake and gourmet meal uh, due to bugs. Unfortunately, I just couldn't fix them. Sims who are already knights will no longer have the option to be made a knight. Knights will no longer have two interactions to stand guard when clicking on the ground. The in-game tutorials have been removed because they will be replaced with a website once that is done. And I have made the throne ownership a separate download because it was the only thing I couldn't convert from XML Injector to Core Library. Now everything in the royalty mod download is now converted from XML Injector to Core Library so you don't need XML Injector in your game any longer. But that is it for this patch. This has now brought the mod to a much more stable place. And now I've got it all fixed and I'm happy with it. I can focus on content updates once again. And I have so many works in progress that I'm so excited about. I don't want to give any away just in case they don't come to fruition and I don't want to get people excited about it. But yeah, I, I'm really, really excited about the future of Royalty Mod this next half year, six months. So I hope you guys are too. I hope you enjoy the new pack if you are downloading it and you are safe to play royalty mod with it. It is fine and it works well with the new pack. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. If you like talking about all things royalty mod or just want to keep updated on anything related to the mod, then come on over to the Discord. There are loads of friendly people here and we would love to have you. There is a link in the description to join the Discord.